In Mark 1, 5, we meet our first circumstantial participle and a couple of words that are pretty hard to pronounce. Kai, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? All right. <laughs> Exaporuita, pros auton, pasa, he udaya hora, kai, hoi, heerasalumitai, pantis, kai, ebaptizanta, hupautu, ento iordane potamo, ex amalagumenoi, tas hamartias auton. And, and then what tense is this word? They were going out. Right, there's your augment right there. So it's an imperfect. They were going out to him. Now here's your double subject. All the Judean region and those inhabitants of Jerusalem, all. So the entire Judean region and all of the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And what were they doing there? And they were being baptized by him in the Jordan River. And then you have this middle participle. And in the middle, it means that they are confessing, confessing their sins. Okay, this is the participle of what's called attendant circumstances. It's giving you some information about something that was happening at the same time as the main verb. And contextually, you can know that as they were being baptized, they were at the same time confessing their sins, which really needs to inform how we do baptisms today, doesn't it? That baptism should involve a confession of sin. I can obviously say that I've never heard a baptism where there was a confession of sin, but Picking up from John the Baptist, baptism with its connections to Christian baptism, I think probably this is the historical argument that there should be confession. So we could put the chi on its own line, but I don't think it's really that critical. So here's the first of the subjects, and then here's the connective between the subjects. You wouldn't have to put it on the same line, but you can if you want. And what was going on? They were being baptized by him. Where were they being baptized? In the Jordan River. And what were they doing while they were being baptized? They were confessing their sins. So get our double subject out there. The connective, and the other subject. And then what was going on at that time? They were being baptized by him. Where were they being baptized? In the Jordan River. And you wouldn't want to put that there because it makes it look that the chi and the prepositional phrase are equal, and they're not. So they're being baptized. Where in the Jordan River? And what was going on as they were being baptized? They were confessing their sins. Pretty straightforward. <laughs>